A simple five-minute mistake every morning is costing motorcycle owners thousands in premature engine wear, oil breakdown, and injector damage. The wrong warm-up procedure doesn't just waste fuel. It actively damages your engine from the inside out. And the most shocking part? Nearly 70% of motorcycle riders warm up their bikes the wrong way. In this video, you will discover the scientifically proven method for warming up your motorcycle engine that protects your investment and extends its life. Make sure to watch till the end, because the biggest mistake riders make actually happens after they think the engine is warmed up. Motorcycle engines are fundamentally different from car engines. They're smaller, rev higher, and rely on precise air fuel mixtures and oil pressure for protection. When cold, they run rougher and take longer to reach efficient operating temperature. Cold motorcycle engines face three critical problems. First, engine oil becomes thick and sluggish when cold, increasing friction between moving parts like pistons, bearings, and camshafts. Second, cold combustion chambers don't burn fuel efficiently, leading to incomplete combustion and carbon buildup on valves and spark plugs. Third, fuel doesn't vaporize properly in cold conditions, making combustion even less efficient and causing rough idling. Cold starts without proper warm-up create far more engine wear than normal riding, which is why your warm-up procedure matters so much. Now, here's the biggest mistake most riders make, letting their motorcycle idle for 10, 15, or even 20 minutes before riding. This extended idling actually hurts your motorcycle more than it helps. Motorcycle engines produce very little heat at idle because they're burning minimal fuel and running with little load. When idling, combustion temperatures stay too low to burn fuel completely. This causes carbon deposits and unburned fuel residue to build up inside the combustion chamber, exhaust, and sometimes even on the spark plugs. Over time, this leads to poor throttle response, foul plugs, and reduced performance. Extended idling also keeps your engine oil from reaching proper operating temperature. Cold. Thick oil can't flow quickly enough to lubricate tight tolerance parts like camshafts, crank bearings, and piston rings. Even though the engine is running, it's still wearing itself down internally. Your oil-cooled or liquid-cooled motorcycle is especially vulnerable because proper oil flow and coolant temperature are critical for stable engine operation. Modern motorcycles with fuel injection and catalytic converters suffer even more from long idling. Catalytic converters need high exhaust temperatures to function properly. Idling keeps them too cold, which leads to clogging poor emissions and carbon buildup. So, what's the correct warm-up procedure? The answer depends slightly on the outside temperature, but the principle stays the same. Minimal idling, followed by gentle riding under light load. Here's a temperature-based warm-up guide. When it's above 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees Celsius, idle for only 30 to 60 seconds after starting. This gives time for oil pressure to build and lubrication to reach all components. Then, ride off gently, keeping RPMs below 4,000 until the temperature gauge shows the engine warming up. When it's between 0 degrees Fahrenheit and 50 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 18 degrees Celsius to 10 degrees Celsius, idle for 2 to 3 minutes. This lets thicker oil circulate and stabilize before you start moving. Again, once you're riding, keep throttle input smooth and RPMs moderate until full operating temperature is reached. When it's below 0 degrees Fahrenheit minus 18 degrees Celsius, idle for about 5 minutes maximum, no more. Even in extreme cold, idling longer doesn't help and actually starts to cause carbon buildup. After that short warm-up, ride slowly and avoid high revs or heavy throttle for first few miles. The key is understanding that motorcycle engines need light load to warm up effectively. Riding gently warms up the engine, gearbox, clutch, and oil faster than idling ever could. The increased combustion heat brings everything to operating temperature together, including coolant, oil, and transmission fluid. Here's the correct technique for gentle warm-up riding. Keep RPMs low for the first 5 to 10 minutes. Avoid hard acceleration, redline revs, or full throttle until the temperature gauge shows the engine is fully warm. Remember, oil temperature rises more slowly than coolant temperature. Even when your temp gauge looks normal, the oil might still be too cold for hard riding. Now let's talk about tools and tricks that make cold starts easier. If you live in a cold climate, 
a battery tender or maintainer is essential. Motorcycle batteries are small and lose power quickly in cold weather. A healthy, fully charged battery spins a starter faster, helping the engine fire up quickly and reducing strain on electrical components. For fuel-injected bikes, ensure your fuel system is clean and that injectors aren't gummed up. Cold starts to rely on precise fuel delivery. Dirty injectors make starting harder and increase wear. If you ride a carbureted motorcycle, using the choke correctly is vital. Don't overuse it. Too much choke leads to rich running, fuel washing down cylinder walls, and excess carbon buildup. Use just enough to start and run smoothly, then gradually turn it off as the engine warms. For extremely cold weather, engine block or oil pan heaters are available for some larger motorcycles or touring models. These preheat the oil and engine internals, making starts smoother and reducing wear dramatically. Here's another point many riders overlook. You need to warm up more than just the engine. Your transmission, clutch, and chain all rely on proper lubrication that only happens when the oil is warm. Extended idling warms the engine, but does nothing for the gearbox or clutch. Gentle riding during the warm-up period warms up all the bike's fluids evenly, preventing cold metal-on-metal -metal contact and extending the life of your transmission and drivetrain. For motorcycles with manual transmissions, which is most of them, be gentle with shifts during warm-up. Cold oil makes the clutch plates and gears less cooperative, and hard shifting can cause premature wear. Let the bike warm gradually through smooth, easy gear changes. Now, here's the mistake that happens after warm-up. Many riders think once the temperature gauge hits normal, the engine is fully ready. Not true. The coolant may be hot, but the engine oil still takes another 10 to 15 minutes of riding to reach full operating temperature. Oil temperature lags behind coolant temperature. So even when your gauge reads normal, the oil may not be fully thin and protective yet. Continue riding conservatively until the entire engine, not just the coolant, is up to temperature. If your bike has an oil temperature readout, use it. If not, assume you need at least 15 to 20 minutes of total riding before the engine is truly ready for full throttle. Now, let's talk about cool-down procedures which are just as important for motorcycle longevity, especially if your bike has a turbocharger or high-performance setup. After aggressive riding or highway runs, don't shut the engine off immediately. Let it idle for 30 to 60 seconds to allow heat to dissipate evenly and oil to circulate through the head and turbo if equipped. This prevents heat soak, where trapped heat cooks the oil inside the engine. If you have an exhaust temperature gauge, wait until it drops a bit before shutting down. This short cool-down period dramatically extends the life of your engine and turbo bearings, if your bike has one. So, there you have it, the correct way to warm up and care for your motorcycle engine. A few minutes of smart warm-up every morning can save you thousands in repairs, extend your engine's life, and make your bike perform at its best. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And if you made it this far, I truly appreciate you. Ride safe and keep your engine happy.